routine is going. Our Alexa or our Google Home is going to do the shopping for us. Fridge cam. You know what Simon's run out of. What should we get Simon this week? AI shopping could mix up our eating, the foods we try and so on and so forth. The project we've got with Tesco is, is to react before someone actually needs something. So it's just in time technology. It's all about everything happening seamlessly in the background. It's about getting sensors and unfortunately hardware into the home so that we can tell that you need that stuff. If you know when something's expiring, then you can suggest to a customer that they make a particular recipe because you know they have all the ingredients and then they're going to use it up before it expires. A lot of technology seems to be introduced into the wild and then how people use it always kind of changes it. So the fridge uh, camera is a really interesting one because is it going to change behaviour or are people going to think, oh, maybe I'll eat more healthily? Ultimately, it'll probably be one of the giants that kind of pull these together so that you can actually... Don't you think people at that point will just stop using it altogether because they'll be, they don't want to be told all that? I don't um, want to be bullied. I, I don't think it's bullying, I think it's just a case of making people aware. I don't want to live in a world which is being, where I'm being that automated. Are you really also saying you want to be able to change your mind? And suddenly, well, instead of doing all of these things which the data is saying, I, this is what I like, da 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 da, actually, I'm going to be different. I think there's going to be this, like I said, this data independence day, this yeah. data democracy. AI for humanity and individuals and communities, not companies. So 2020, 30% of UK shopping is going to be e-commerce. But 40% of that, I just want to say, is, is, is going to be three companies, eBay, Alibaba, and Amazon. 2022 looks totally different from what we're projecting now because there's no regulations for the, this third internet that's going to emerge. And by 2022, these new regulations will be put in, anticipating what, what's going to happen in 2020. It's going to be a noisy 2020. Once you've had that conversation and your, your avatar, your, your digital me, isn't giving you a choice, you're really saying it knows so much about you, it knows what you want before you want it. So then it's not saying, do you want this or that? Right. There's no uncertainty. Yeah, but you, but and that's what I'm and saying, don't you think we you... want some of that choice left to us? And the same thing is happening with voice and AI. For example, the example that you just said was search. And you're not searching with voice and AI. Because if my AI was my AR, Robert's AI was Robert's AI, and it knew everything about Robert, then Robert doesn't have to search. The AI is a magnet that attracts all things based on Robert. And Robert right now, right now we spend so much time scrolling instead of talking to something that's Robert's. And so as you're having conversations with something, or I'm having a conversation with this phone and whatever platform I'm on in the form of a scroll, and the companies know me, but I don't know me. I hope we are building a system that understands you so you don't have to search anymore.